What's up guys, the Bobcat here, and welcome back to Neo. Last time, we had finished Memories of Death Lees and the two side missions. And this time, we're going to be, well, for the start, watching a cutscene. Because I mentioned this mission, which was here, was probably a cutscene mission, and it was. However, I accidentally loaded the wrong character and watched the cutscene, which unlocked this side mission, as well as the main mission. So... We're going to have to go into the Amritan Memories and watch the two cutscenes here. So let's get those started and knocked out immediately. Okay. Seems he's the real thing. Nanika Omosiro Mono de Momiru Kano Onosinokoto Kaizok to Otosu Mono Moreva Maribito to Angameru Mono Mori Koko Ahitotu Onosino Makoto Kikasute Kureka. I told Ieyasu that I came to Japan in pursuit of Kelly. The man who stole Sersha from me. And told him about Amrita as well. Ho,しもれを取り戻すか。ケリとやらが、わしを狙っておるとなれば、現れるやもしれんの。半蔵ともども。声も好きにいたせ。ほ。じゃが。戦のある限り。霊石を狙う輩。お主の守護霊を欲しがる輩はいくらも現れよ。の暗示よ。戦のないよ。作れると思う。ワシは作るぞ。その隊員のため力を尽くしておる。お主は鬼を斬るその力何のために使う。I'd never thought about that. If you remember, at the end of the last, not the last part, the part before that, we had the ninja lady heading to Edo Castle as well. And, uh, well, things haven't gone well there, as we'll find out in a moment with this cutscene. A hint of things to come. Well, that's not worrying at all. Imagine getting a tattoo in it like Kelly has. It'd be pretty impressive. In case you're wondering why I said a hint of things to come, it's because that screen shows us where we're going next. Because the castle's on lockdown and there's only one way in. So, without further ado, 
Let's head to the castle. Kelly has sealed Edward Castle's gate. We must find... We must quickly find another way in. I have an idea. It won't be pleasant, but desperate times call for desperate measures. Which means... A sewer. Because how else would you get into a castle? <clears throat> oh, Edo became Tokyo. Hmm. Yep. Let us begin. I also switched over my weapon to uh, dual blades. I think we already had that, but regardless. What we are going to do is get a level up. You know what? Let's get spirit up to 10. And then we'll change our guardian spirit over to uh, Itokuri for the luck bonus. Because there's an NPC on this level who requires us to collect a certain number of items. And I would like to collect those items. It doesn't give us anything particularly amazing. It unlocks like a shortcut that can make certain things a little easier. 21 luck. I'll take that one, sure. 18, 20, we've got 21 already. Or Kodama Sense. Do we have anything else with Kodama Sense and luck, ideally? Don't think we do, do we? No, it's ultimate ninjutsu. Drop. No, I'm not seeing anything. Unless we have something further down. Let's cut down my sense. Water damage versus your carry on look. Clicking weapon, you've already, you've already seen these ones. Hmm. Amazing how I haven't found anything else which has Kodama Sense on it. Oh, no, that's what I already got. Okay, never mind. Now then, what do I have equipped? I would like... to... Renjitsu. I would like... We already have five talismans on. Okay, let's put them on a shortcut then. Don't know why we didn't have those to begin with. Uh, what else? I really shouldn't be doing this right now, but I'm going to do it anyway. I have no Omni Magic points, so never mind. Okay. Let's start going through. Do I have a better bow? That felt very lacking in power. Guess not. I think I already did a bunch of swap outs earlier. Well, regardless. Gonna move through the mire. Uh, I won't bother. I'm trying to hit that skull in the thing, but... There we go, I guess that worked. Not perfect. Dung balls. That's what we have to collect for the guy. So, that's gonna be fun. We need about 25 of them. I think I collected about 24. Plus a noble version of the dung balls. How exactly you have a noble dung ball, I don't know, but... That's what we need. There we go. No drop from there, sadly. Once I actually get to the guy, I think what I'll do... That is a shock we can take as well, but we're not going to be going down there just yet. Or up there, I should say. We could also head that way, but I think we have to unlock a door first. In fact, I know we have to unlock a door first, because that's the shortcut. So hopefully, we'll be able to gather up a decent amount of dung balls. Not the eyes of a sane man. Wouldn't have anything to do with this big purple crystal, would it? This is one of the main, I guess, gimmicks of the level. 
This is a bunch of these guys. Which are being controlled. Don't worry, we didn't kill him. Even though we ran him through. But yeah, there's a bunch of guys being controlled by these crystals. And we have to destroy the crystals. And after destroying the crystals... I'm going to take down a little bit on my end because it's a bit loud. But yeah, if we destroy the crystals, then the... Uh, and the guys break free of control, I guess. Unfortunately, if we decide to do it that way, then we don't gain any items from them. So, whether it's good or bad, eh, don't think it makes a huge difference. That's where that ladder was earlier. Oh, how could I forget? This is the way we want to head first. In case you're wondering what the effect is as well. What the hell happened there? But that effect we've got right now from the uh, pool water. That means if we take an elixir, we will only get like half as much and it'll make us throw up. Because you know. Oh. Eating in a sewer isn't generally a smart idea. You know, we actually did get a helmet. Got the Kodama Ball helmet. Don't have the skill required to use it, but it has Kodama Sense and Luck on it. Hmm. That might not be such a bad idea to use that in future. Let's see, can I get it? Oh, I did get him. Ah. Well, that worked, although we do have this guy as well. That water buff we have. Oh. These guys recover so quickly, but... That water buff we have is because one of the urns we destroyed uh, contained water that keeps us from getting all stinky. In fact, I think, it's one of, I think this one might have water in it. Yeah. So it stops us from getting... Well... From being affected by the lovely, lovely pool water. This unlocks the shortcut as well. This is actually the route I'll be taking for farming. So I'll be coming up here, running along here, killing the two slimes. Running back around and killing the four slimes we've already killed. Over and over again. I didn't buy any bullets as well. Again. I need to remember to do that. Turns out having ammunition would be quite useful. Who would have guessed? Oh, regardless. Chopped his head off. Now, there's another skeleton over there. Oh. Well, I got him, but it didn't kill him. There we go. And there's another Kodama. That be two? I think I remember where all of them are. They're not that hard to find. There's three down here and then three outside. Also, we should destroy these torches because they're lowering our frame rate, as torches tend to do. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Well, we didn't die, we didn't suffer for it, but what's he called? Toran, Toranoshin, the Deliant. Diet. I can't pronounce. I could not pronounce that that title at all. But he will try and heal. I'm guessing that's the joke behind his name. Also, we just got some more dual blades. I'm te really tempted to give the dual blades a try. If we only had a, some sort of effect on them, that would make them even better. They don't do a lot of damage, though, I'll say that much. Oh dear. Definitely want to block that. Okay, let's swap back to this. 
Right, let's move away. Pop a health token. Frame rate's dropping. Getting scared that the game might crash. Well, there we go. Now, I don't think there's any way to cure the uh, stink offers. Apart from actually finding water pots to use. Let's pop a health. You know, I've just realised why we're not doing as much damage as I thought we should. It's because I'm using... Uh, the spider spirit and not uh, Kaito that was giving us damage bonuses as well as key. Got him. Yeah, you're in my debt even though I just ran you through with a sword. Oh, I forgot about you. What are we going to do? That's this one. I should probably swap out some gestures for some more interesting gestures. Oh, hey. Highest quality wood. Only the highest quality. There we go. Nicely done. Somehow managed to do a thousand points of water damage, even though that enemy doesn't take damage from water. Still. And how many dung balls do we have? One. Perfect. We're only uh, 24 to go. Oh, joys. I think this guy actually will mention something. Not this guy. Where is it then? There's one of these bodies that uh, mentions something. Ah, yes. Crystal. I missed. There we go. Get rid of the crystal, which will deal with those two down there. They don't drop anything, as I stated earlier. Which, again... A little shame, but I think we'll live. There we go. That's the three down here. Now there's just the three outside. Ah, this guy. What is it? Isuki the Brick. He drowned. How terribly unfortunate. Because there's only a certain type of water down here, which means he drowned in poo. And other such bodily excretions. I put you out of your misery. You are free now. Okay. Is it this guy? No, there's someone. I'm sure there was a corpse around here that mentioned something. Maybe I walked past it. Maybe he's still in here and I haven't opened him. I was sure there was a corpse that... Maybe I already... Yeah, maybe I unlocked it already. But it was something like, What's with this guy? He stinks. Or something. And it's... Uh, this guy here. He's a bit strange. As I stated, he's a little strange. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut the footage here. And when I return, we're going to return to this location. And I'm going to have all the dung balls I need. The shrine's right here as well. So, I will be back in but a moment. Alright, so we're back here now, and after a extended period of time, I have farmed up 24 dung balls. I'm hoping this will be my last run through, and I'm going to just show off what I've been doing as well. Oh, there's my 25th one, excellent. Hopefully that'll be enough. I don't know how much noble dung balls 
are worth. So, hopefully that won't impact anything. Also, I can actually do this now. So annoying. Not oh, regardless. Yeah, there's the guy I missed, by the way. So while we're here... What's wrong with him? He stinks like hell. Yeah, that's the uh, dude we met. So do this. Unfortunately, my fire ran out, so... I had to beat him down, but regardless. Hopefully that will be enough. Again, I'm really hoping it is, because I don't want to have to do any more farming here. It's not exactly the most egregious thing, considering I mostly just turned off my brain for this. That's 26, so... Hopefully that'll be enough. We'll do one more, just in case. I might as well level up while I'm here as well. Because I did get a bunch of uh, Amrita from doing all those runs. We'll do this one more time, as I stated. And then we'll actually progress onwards. Sometimes when you're farming these guys, they'll drop nothing. Other times they'll drop two or three. So if you do try and farm these up, because the guy who we are giving them to, we have no arrows or bullets. Excellent. But he gives both a gesture and uh, a few items, actually. There's another one. But yeah, he gives an... A gesture, a soul stone, and a helmet. His helmet specifically. Which is actually quite good if I remember. Ah, I missed it. Oh well. If you're lucky, you can catch that guy by running. Well, again, hopefully that will be enough. I really hope it is, though I'm sceptical. How many do we have? 20... 28. I know where there's one more, but we might need 30. Hmm. Well, we'll see when we turn them in. Also, we're just gonna sprint it, not gonna bother trying to fight anything. And then we'll rest at the shrine up here as well. Let's see. He's so weird. It sounds like that voice actor was having a very fun time when uh, he was doing this character. That's ten. This is useful for dealing with a certain area ahead inside the castle because it'll lead us to like one of the purple crystals immediately so we won't have to deal with having to kill a whole bunch of guys sure here you go that's soul stone there you go such a weird voice actor I'm glad that's not in English. Looks like you only need 25 then. Cool, but we got the horned turban kabuto. And if and just in case you were wondering what he was doing with those dung balls. <laughs> Yep, that's what he was doing with them. Ooh. Well, good news is we'll never have to see him again, hopefully. I don't know for sure. I haven't played further ahead. Anyway, let's look at that Kabuto we got. As I stated, it's not that bad. It's got luck. It's got uh, close combat damage when surrounded. Triple A. 
and it's also got easy target as well as uh, prevents us from dying from poison damage. So, it's not that bad, all things considered. Let's crack this open. We've got five minutes left. Now you can see the crystals glow actually through the floor. And also, we don't need the spider on anymore, so let's switch out to... Uh, back to Kaito. We've got him maxed out as well because we have... Uh, what do you call it? We have 10 spirits. And as I stated, this leads us into the castle. Oh, more dung balls. Well, in case you want to get more. There's two guys in there, that's why I'm luring this guy out. Do not want to fight two of these guys at once. I already tried it, it didn't end well. I'll find you heal up. How'd you like that? Oh, didn't mean to do that. Well, it worked either way. Also, I should change off one of these to my... Um, what, not I'm Ritter Sense. Um, what's it called? Kodama Sense. We have that, but is that better than the medical case we were using? Not that one. Did I go past it? I may have done. Is it that one? No? No, where is it? Oh, there. I'd say that case is actually better. Sure. Okay, anyway. Let's quickly speed along because we're at uh, 27 minutes. Oh, I missed it. It was a little close for comfort. Yeah, you're welcome for me beating you up. But as I stated, you can see on the map the crystal and all the people it's linked to. And now, they are free. Grab you up. And we'll actually head the proper way now. That's not the correct path. I am already lost. There we go. Because we do have actually... Bleh, we actually have a mini boss to fight as well. So... That's going to be fun. It's pretty simple to deal with, actually. Oh, I never actually came down there. But yeah, it's pretty simple to deal with. There's just three... Oh. There's three crystals to break in the boss room, which will immediately defeat the boss because he's been possessed like this guy is so we just break the crystals in the boss room and he's freed from their control we're probably gonna have to use living weapon because he is quite strong if we're lucky we'll be able to defeat well, destroy two of the crystals, and then the third one should be easy enough to deal with. Getting a lot of soul stones and stuff from though. What time are we on? 29. So we'll have to cut the video very soon. Off he goes. Uh, we'll defeat this guy, and then we'll cut the video. Oh dear. I got distracted. I thought he was doing something else. Come on. Do something. Don't just stand there like a lemon. There we go. Two, three, four. That was actually kind of risky, because obviously you can't block when you're dodging. Anyway, there we go. We've hit 30 minutes, so I will end the part here. Hopefully you all 
have enjoyed and I will see you all next time.